So today you can see that in the board today I will explain about number system. So first of all I want to tell you that what is number. So what is number? So you can think that I will give you one example like in our our body our body body smallest part like uh, our body smallest stru structural functional unit is cell so cell what is cell cell is the smallest functional unit like also you can see that in L, in an element so atom is the smallest element A atom is the smallest particle so you can think that all the mathematical calculation is based on number so uh, so number we can say that number is the basic unit of mathematics so by the help of number we can you we can use add addition calculation addition multiplication subtraction division etc whatever done by all the you uh, all the uses by number system so uh, so there is the classification of number system i have uh, i have already and discuss in the board so uh, i will give you one uh, example each of them so number system to so number system is basically belongs to two types that is real number and another is imaginary number so imaginary part is a huge thing uh, so i will give you the was just one example that wh which what is the imaginary number so like if i write here here if i write here under root minus 3 or under root minus 4 or under root minus 19 like you can see that if you check it in calculator so you will get the uh, error of syntax why you will get a, a syntax error because in the square root if you use my if you use this sign minus sign it will be given a syntax error because this is an imaginary part this can be a calculated in real number so that's why it is an imaginary part and it's a huge part so another part so today we will discuss this in later so today we will only focus on real number so what is real number so all the number that you used in calculation that is real number so real number is basically two types one is integer another is decimal so in integer you can see that if i draw an uh, line like here it is zero uh, it is after right hand side of the zero it will be all the positive sign the plus one plus two plus 3 plus 4 dot 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 infinity infinity mean plus infinity so you it mean plus 1 is the smallest positive natural number and infinity mean we can't imagine the last positive integer number so that's why it to the like we can't imagine the what is the last number of last positive integer number that's why we use infinity here so also like this uh, left hand side of the zero will be negative part so minus one minus two minus three minus four do, 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 minus infinity so like this so zero here zero is means this one this zero and a positive integer what is positive integer that is all the plus from plus one to plus infinity these are belongs to these are belongs to from here to here these are belongs to positive integer and zero this is belongs to this one zero and all the negative from minus one to all the negative part is belongs to negative integer so so fine so uh, we we can see that uh, in the book there is a uh, concept of natural number there is a concept of whole number so what is natural number natural is na natural number is nothing but a positive integer if we if we count here that means if we count from plus 1 to plus infinity uh, look i have a uh, i have a draw a circle of this one if we if we uh, look all the number belongs to this circle will be called as natural number natural number okay and also we have a concept of whole number so what is whole number whole number is nothing but if we add zero on this natural number then it will be uh, it will be called as whole number that means if we count from zero to if we make a draw and if you make a, another circle then like we okay, i have just uh, added zero to the uh, zero with natural number then it will be called as whole number so like if if i take an example of five so five is also a natural number and you can say also say that five is a whole number okay so 
this is the concept of natural number and whole number so and another part is uh, we know that uh, uh, we know that uh, prime number or composite number what is prime number look i am giving you uh, giving you one example look i am taking one example of number 15 so i say that what is the uh, uh, how many how many factor of 15 so uh, how many factor of 15 so before we know that factor so i just want to explain that 15 means uh, factor means by which numbers the 15 will be completely divisible so i can uh, say that 15 is divisible by 1 that is 15 15 is divisible by 3 that that is 5 15 is divisible by 5 that is 3 and 15 is divisible by 15 that is equals to 1 so here 1 3 5 and 15 these are the factor of 15 so you can see that these are the factor of 15 so you can see that there is how many factors 1 2 3 4 5 factors is present in, in a number if more if any number having more than two factor then it will be called as composite number so but if we take 3 so what is the factor of 3 just 1 and 3 this is the factor of uh, 3 so uh, you can see that uh, here only two factor is present of 3 so that means uh, uh, if any number having just only two factor then it will be called as prime number so this is the difference between prime number and composite number and also we know that uh, even number and odd number so what is even number even number is nothing but we also we already familiar about um, uh, table of two so if i say that uh, table of two that two one that two two to the four two three the six that in all the multiple of two is called an even number so and uh, uh, which are not multiple of two is called an odd, odd number so we can also use it in a reverse way that the number is completely divisible by 2 is called even number and then those numbers who are completely not divisible by 2 is called an odd number so like if we take an 18 18 is completely divisible by 2 because we get 9 and if we take 7 7 is not completely divisible by 2 uh, we get a decimal value so this is called an uh, odd number so 7 it is even number and it is 7 uh, it is even number 18 18 even number and 7 is our odd number okay so this is the concept so now i will come here what is rational number and what is irrational number so what is rational number and what is it i will be i will explain it briefly so rational number the number is represented by p and q form is called rational number like but you you have to notice that a q can't be zero here that means q should not be q should not be zero why q should not be zero? Because if we if, if we divide if we get if, if we take any number and we get we divide it by zero, then we will get infinity. So we have to um, always remember that q should be denominator but should never be zero. So this uh, so uh, do you do you think that three is a rational number? Obviously three will be rational number because in in three we can uh, represent is three by one. So that's why if we uh, it, it had three p is our three and uh, one is our q. So we can represent it the uh, p by q form. That's why it is a uh, rational number. Uh, so what is irrational number? Irrational number that uh, also you have to remember about rational number. Rational number will always be terminating and repeating. But in irrational number it will be non-terminating and non-repeating. Non-terminating and non-repeating. So, so like if we take an example of 1 by 3rd so what will be our value or uh, if we divide it 3 so like this you can see that 3 is a uh, 3 is continue continuously going like uh, you 
can't get any number uh, between three. So this is uh, this is key. This is what this is uh, three is here repeating and also three here uh, you can't if you if you do uh, continuously doing and doing then it will be never be terminated. That's why it is called an irrational number. Also pi is an irrational number because uh, the value we use. Uh, the, uh, the exact value of uh, pi is 3.141 dot 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 it will be continuously going that's why uh, pi is an irrational number but 22 by 7 is not an irrational number because after if, if you divide 22 by 7 after sometimes it will be terminated so that's why 22 by 7 is not an irrational number it will be a rational number and rational number and uh, pi will be a irrational number in the book uh, if we use pi as a not total exact value but pi 22 by 7 is similar to pi that's why in book we use pi uh, over here 22 by 7 so and this is our uh, based on our concept i think it will be clear for you thank you